As I'm sure you're all aware, one of Minecraft's most popular mods are shaders. When used correctly, they can turn this landscape into something much more. But with every good thing like shaders, comes its trade-offs. Among other things, one of the main things that's talked about is its bad frame rate. It's probably the main reason you don't see your favorite streamer or content creator use them. Now it could just be that they prefer the look of the base game, but I prefer to choose the latter. See, even with the supercomputer, Minecraft just was not optimized to run shaders. But in today's video, I will show you a couple of simple changes that should help you improve your FPS. Now, assuming you already have Optifine downloaded, the shaders I will be using today are the complementary shaders. And in the description, you will find a link to where you can download them. All right, the first change we're making is in the water tab. Start by turning water type to vanilla-ish, turn the bumpiness down to 0.25, size to 150 and the sharpness to 0.05 basically what this will do is make the water more like vanilla by removing some of the distortion while keeping the reflections personally i prefer it this way as it still enhances the game without straying too far away from the default look okay next we'll be going to the shadows tab turning real-time shadows off turning shadow map resolution down to low and shadow distance down to eight. Once you have that done, basically what this will do is turn all of the real time shadows off, which will make the game look a little bit more simplistic, more like vanilla default Minecraft, which personally I kind of prefer as I don't like the over the top shaders a lot, uh, but ultimately what this is gonna do is up your FPS a lot. And if you're telling me right now that this just looks like default Minecraft, let me tell you something. This is 10 times better than default Minecraft. I can't even wrap my head around default Minecraft anymore because it just looks so bad compared to the shaders. I just can't even go back and forth anymore. It's disgusting. Okay, next we'll be turning galaxies on by going to the sky tab, going to night sky settings, making sure galaxies are turned on, having the shader star mount to high, your star brightness to 1.50 and your galaxy brightness to 0.5. What this is gonna do is, well, turn on galaxies and ultimately it just looks incredible and it doesn't really hurt your FPS that much. So I would recommend turning it on as it just makes the game look better overall. Okay, so now we're gonna turn off a lot of the unwanted blurring the shaders do by default. Go to the post processing tab, have image sharpening all the way up, lens flare strength to 0.05, motion blur down to nothing and it should be set by default but i have anti-aliasing set to this tab right here now this is something i think everyone should do regardless if you're trying to save fps or not as it's just going to make the game overall much more enjoyable it's going to get rid of a lot of the depth of field making the image look a lot better in quality and get rid of all the unwanted motion blur Okay, now we will be sprucing up the end by going to the sky tab, going to ender nebula settings, having ender nebula on, having nebula purple brightness to 1.3, star brightness to 1.15, orange brightness to 1.20, and nebula size to 0.05. Now what this is going to do is drastically improve the overall look of the end dimension. And I mean drastically. Just look for yourself. Now the final little touch that I recommend adding will be turning on block flickering under the lighting tab. This will add a little bit of a flickering effect to any light emitting blocks such as campfires and torches. I like having this on as it just makes the game feel a little bit more immersive. Now keep in mind this won't necessarily affect your FPS but it is something that I like to have. Now the block flickering itself isn't all that noticeable but to show you that it is actually there this is what it looks like on the max settings. And just like that, you should be done. Now this is a more basic, simplistic style of shaders, but I think it still overall makes the game look amazing. You should now be seeing anywhere from 30 to 50 frame improvements. Now this content isn't the style I traditionally make or cater to, but if you do like it, a like or a sub would be greatly appreciated. Now go on out there and try these for yourself and have some fun. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.